I have to call to order this meeting, September 21st, 2022, 6 o'clock. I'm going to do a roll call, and I realize that we have two. Uh, in the we have two new commission members, and we'll do an introduction right after that. So, Heidi Christensen. Here. Hi, Heidi. Summer Darrell. Hi, Here. Robin. Thank you. Jennifer Kasakis. Here. Bill Norman. Here. Hey. Terry Peters. Oh, you know, excuse me. What did I say? Um, make a motion. Terry. Oh, a and okay. And Mark Sava. Here. And Aaron Asmus. Here. Okay. I can make a motion that Terry Peters can be excused tonight. Second it. Thank you. Terry, good to see you. So I'd like to do some introductions. And I know we have two new members. I'd like to tonight I'd just like to do some introductions, starting with Dave going in clockwise so that all of us introduce ourselves to our new members, new members introduce themselves to us. I'm David Gaynor. I am not interviewing the two of you this time. <laughs> I'm the um, communications person for City of Liberty Lake. City Hall started in April, and part of my duties include uh, assisting uh, from the cities in this commission. I'm Aaron Asmus, uh, one of the community engagement commissioners, and um, I've been a resident of Liberty Lake for the last four, almost five years now. Um, and yeah, really excited to be here. This background in data analytics and strategic planning for nonprofit organizations, uh, as well as community engagement um, uh, programs and projects across the United States. My name is Mark Zaba, and for about 15 years, uh, I've been living very like, um, active with our community. Uh, I enjoy doing what I do because I'm retired and I do this kind of stuff to keep myself busy. So I'm on this commission. I, tomorrow I have a salary commission meeting. So I'm on the salary commission, board of directors for Winter Glow, and a number of other things that I, you know, I, I enjoy doing. So uh, you too, welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Are we introducing you? I'm Jennifer Kosaka. I've been a resident of Liberty Lake for just over five years now. And I'm so excited to be to, to get more involved in the community and just sort of fell into so much of that. <laughs> so that's how I'm here today. I'm very excited. Um, I'm Summer Nero. Nice to meet you and good to see you here. Um, I'm coming up on the four year mark of living here. I'm a uh, Los Angeles suburbs transplant, but I drive with Montana plates. So no hate. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I love living in Liberty Lake. I have uh, little uh, kids, um, so I love all the events here, but I'm really excited um, to kind of I have to reach out to all parts of the community, not just people that we see uh, out and about through schools and stuff like that, but um, to really get a, a broader swath of people and engage. I'm Robin Beckerdahl, and I'm in the River District, and I've lived here in Liberty Lake for about 12 years, so community engagement has always been sort of a passion of mine because I've just been a planner for quite a long time and it's important that we basically look at citizen participation as a result. And somebody that's this needed for our public speech and public. Neil Norman, do I need to turn this to my own? Until it gets green, there you go. There we go. My name is Bill Norman. Um, we have lived here now for over eight and a half years. We originally lived in the Spokane area for eight years from 1993 to 2001. My employment brought us here. And then 13 years in Seattle. And by the time I retired, three of our children had made their home here. And we liked Spokane anyway. It seemed a more same way to spend what we were told were our golden years. <laughs> so we came back to Spokane and have loved every minute of it. And 
as a couple of you have said, just feeling strongly the accountability of living in a democracy and wanting to be a contributor and not just a, a benefactor all the time. So glad to be have the opportunity to serve with you. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we will go up on Zoom, Heidi. Yes, I've been blessed to be a part of the Liberty Lake community since 2018. Been in Spokane County off and on since 1998. I'm very pleased to be with the Community Engagement Commission. I help out any way I can. And I have three concerns. Mothers, military, and manufacturing. And I work all three, so I appreciate y'all being flexible with Zoom tonight. And welcome to the new members. Glad to have you. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kate and Megan, I'd like to have you introduce yourself. I know that you're part of the staff. Much appreciated staff. Um, Megan, I'm the PEPS technician for the city, so I process all the permits and look at all the plans that are submitted and send them out accordingly. I'm Kate. I've been with the city six and a half years, and I wear a lot of hats, but my official title is administrative assistant. Um, I do parks reservations. I just our mayor and our new city administrator. Um, we've seen you around a lot. Thank you. Next on the agenda, our approval, everybody review the minute meetings of August 17th, 2022. And did you have any comments and engagements to those? Is there a wrong date? Was there a wrong date on it, Judy? That the next meeting or something was the wrong date. It was the twenty second. Yeah, I think oh, that was the the only catch. I really important. And what was not that? We'll change that and revise that to the correct date. Thank you. I make a motion that we approve the end or the um, minutes from the last meeting. I'll second it. Customer as corrected, right? In as correct. And I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Hold the last slide. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a new couple of slides in there. Yeah. Yeah. Motion passes. Why are you going to vote? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 <laughs> All those opposed? Okay, any public comments? Anybody on Zoom? Uh, Trevor Reagan's on Zoom. He's the keynote for the city. Oh, okay. No comments, just, just here to attend. Okay. Hi. Thanks, Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Mark. <laughs> okay, now we really get to the meat of the meeting tonight. And tonight is a workshop. And so I think that we've been talking quite often, every meeting has been stateful about the goals of and our specific identities. Who are we? What are we? And a large part of that starts with uh, everybody had ordinance number 277. So I think it's important to know that for me, that Community Engagement Commission is actually and that's why I put on there, it's established by this ordinance. We are different than a committee because we have legislative actually statutory requirements that we need to meet. Some of them we need to meet, some of them we need to figure out how we're going to meet those. So I did, I took a stab and I did a rough draft for everybody. And now asking you to review it and then provide some comments. So, like to start in, I did receive a comment and from Aaron, and he actually gave some alternate language also. Thank you. I appreciate that, Aaron. Let's just start with the first paragraph. I first paragraph on page one is everybody amenable to recognizing the ordinance number 277 that established the Community Engagement Commission. Yes, I, I do have a comment, and I have a really 
readily available off button. So if I'm out of place, not having participated prior to tonight, just tell me. <laughs> I don't. So so I I read this and I thought that it was an excellent exposition of the enabling uh, law that the city has. I've always thought that mission statements, aside from being a pain to formulate, uh, are most helpful if they're comprehensive while remaining brief and memorable, something that you can have in your mind. And as you go about your work, it's easy to say, well, is this thing we're doing or talking about this it? So not intending to replace any of this, but suggesting something that might more appropriately stand as a mission statement. I, I wrote, and I didn't know how to send it to anybody, so I didn't. I suppose that'll be nice. The mission statement of the Community Engagement Commission of the City of Liberty Lake. We will generate among our fellow citizens a sense of shared ownership and accountability for community outcomes. Two, create and facilitate varied opportunities for all citizens of Liberty Lake to engage with city government by sharing ideas and aspirations for our community. And three, collaborate with the mayor and city council to ensure that strategies are consistent with city priorities and outcomes are shared, analyzed, and leveraged. So that might not score high on brevity, but I was attempting to get in fewer words and fewer space a statement about what it is we do. I think all of this we need to have in our file cabinet, but I think we need to have something that we can carry in our brain. So that was. And I'll stop. Other okay. thoughts. And so I, I will. I'll echo your thoughts as far as brevity. Um, I think mission statements, when they when they do get long, and uh, I'll say cumbersome, um, they get opened up to interpretation for things that are not necessarily aligned with what a commission, an organization, whatever it may be, should be actually doing. Um, there's you know a lot of room for you know gray area and can cause mission drift for you know that entity. So um, I appreciate what you brought forward um, uh, very much. So um, in my view, I think uh, you know where we can keep a concise set of language from a, from a mission statement standpoint in four, five, six sentences that is very simple and brief and to the point. I like the way you structured it and. What I'm hearing in a bullet point kind of format of going, this is what we're here to do. Here's three things that we're focusing on, and in a very you know concise way. And then the goals can elaborate on that. Right, right. So the goals can kind of continue on that as as as, as, as is as what's defined here. So I think it's a I mean again without seeing right, but I I think a combination of what he's done and with the goals and objectives is a good. Could be a really good balance between the two of what we've got. So, um, thank you. Yeah. Um, on the on the balance, um, I think um, some things from this original one here. Um, I think the only thing sort of missing for me was some sort of authority space, which would be maybe that ordinance number or something um, specific for responsibilities, um, but very brief, again, a, a, a one, you know, a real a real short moment there. But I think that something something within that I resonated with me in this one, and then the feeling of everything that I really, I really like. So is then, okay, I'm gonna to try to keep. So what I'm hearing is the first paragraph, the first few sentences that establishes us that's acceptable, everybody. I, I thought this was all acceptable. I was suggesting this as something else, or in addition to. Oh. So, yeah, I think, so yes. So, so what I was saying is, I was suggesting this as a mission statement, 
not to replace any of this, but to keep this as our uh, summary mm -hmm. of what the enabling legislation calls on us to do. I think this is a more user-friendly version of the of the enabling legislation. So, you, uh, like the way I hear you describing it is almost kind of like this is a guiding document. Yeah, this is for us, right? And um, and for us to something that we can say to the person who says, "Well, Phil, what do you do?" <laughs> this isn't it. That's maybe that is. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, so go ahead. Now, so the mission statement would go with what Bill has asked, Commissioner. And then we would change this to, we would still use this and change this to like introduction. This could be like a strategy document. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Of okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. I mean, Excuse we're going to get to where we want, but I mean, I think it's, okay. that's, it's I, kind I, of, I, you look at it in kind of two parts. Sure. Yeah. You know, and it's kind of like what we were talking about when we yeah. before, which was, you okay. know, keep the, keep the mission statement really simple and concise to, oh, it's, you know, to his point, something you can almost slap on a bump. It's public facing. Yeah, truly public facing. That makes sense for everybody. Something easy that we can all just have roll off of our tongues when someone asks us that question. And that's the mission statement. You know, and I, I mean, if you okay. look at some nonprofit organizations, the mission statement yeah. is one sentence, less than fifteen words. Right? And then uh, I, I, so, um, <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you, thank you, Chair Beckadol, thank you, Robin. So I agree with what you're saying, Aaron. At the same time, let's recognize that what Robin has put together is really good for the legal scope. And Summer, since you had the idea about citing the RCW or Washington Administrative Code, I would think as vice chair that you would insert that or we could help Robin with that. So those are my thoughts. I think what the mission statement is good, but Aaron, to your point, this is really more of a, a what's written is more of a legal scope, but great job. Thank you, Robin. Yeah. So we would use build a sample for that vision, like the three points. Mm -hmm. And then we would change this and we start talk with we cross out the mission online and put strategies, work strategies or mission objectives. Yeah, that might be a good way to put it. Mission, mission objectives. objectives. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Mission objectives. And not to nerd out on the ordinance and the in bills, which I I love. I think just some um, some touching on the on the again the authority or whatever something something making it a little more official official yeah, yeah. yeah. just one and that's one word that's one thing and even if it's you know per the ordinance or whatever again it does not have to be to be nerd version there but um but that that belongs in our um. Mission objective certainly. So it is the first sentence of that me, that criteria of what we were looking for that community engagement commission established order number 277. No, I mean I think it's probably one word slipped in there. And I, I'm a better reader than I am a, a listener sometimes. So uh, when I, I see that I could maybe get some specific no, but I think he could too, or or someone else could. There's no reason to change it. Yes. Yeah, no, this is, no, this is good. This is great. There's no reason to change this. Bill idea, I think, is, out, is outstanding. Yeah, three. absolutely. But, and I agree with Sonny, that, you know, we should add something about the ordinance in there. Oh, like, okay. okay. Right and that's a, so we'll page. have four bullet points to the mission statement that we're sending out to the public, so, so, so to speak. This stays behind our, four, you know, within our four walls here as our backup to our mission statement. It's the detail. detail. Yeah. yeah. That's all the things that we're going to do. Absolutely. Which that's in and, and there we go. So we can all, we can all start it off with saying, like, what specifically? What's yeah. you know? sure. and, and so that's where, okay, I like that. But I think we need to get your copy because we need to review this. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. she, I think he's. And so I don't want to approve that portion until we review it. 
I agree. All right, Heidi, are you on board with that too? Mm -hmm. Awesome. She's getting it up for us. We'll be able to see it. Great. Oh, great. You can serve them. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Robin. I'm on board, but we do need to collaborate because Robin, you took the lead on this to my the extent of my knowledge. So thank you. And I, I don't know how how deep we're going to get, you know, before we're actually looking at it and making our individual notes. Um, but just while it's still fresh in my mind, um, I think maybe the official part is something about our term limits or some with you doing something within our term or something like that. That's maybe the verbiage for that for for Bill's piece. Um, and um, I'm not sure about, I love the, I, I mean, I know that we're collaborating and that's the nature of, of what we're doing, um, but I really did like advises and recommends from uh, Robbins here as maybe being part of Bill's. So I just want to put that yeah, out there. Just change collaborate to advises. And that's what I'm thinking, but yeah, that's, and I won't get, I won't go further than that. Okay, so we have a few stuff on screen right now. Mm -hmm. I want to make you know. sure that I need, can, you, can you see this too? Yes, I can see it. Thank you. Okay. She has, it's not asked to make a mission number yet. We can not okay. Outside of adding, I don't see anywhere I can change anything there. Outside of just adding what Zoe said about the ordinance. I think I would look at St. January among City of Liberty Lake residents, the sense of shared ownership and accountability. Know anything about that, Rob? We already know where it's Liberty Way. Um, but you know, so uh, I'll you're talking about the first one, the second one, or the first, first one? one, first one, generating like those oh, so is such that we're trying to kind of really the outcomes. That one, mm -hmm. yeah, that I just the fellow citizens. So I'll play devil's advocate for a minute on that point, and then also down below where it says all citizens of Liberty Lake, as far as opportunities to engage with citizen with city government. Do we need to limit it to citizens that live, so to speak, within the four walls of Liberty Lake? And the reason I say that is how many residents from other cities yes. visit yes. our it and, and visit our businesses. And, or have a business here. Or have a business yeah. here. And how many residents live here that go work in Spokane Valley, Spokane, right. LA, wherever else. So that's the only piece I would just say. Uh, 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 which one? I'm sorry. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, as we look through the documents in full, where we don't be, I, I would encourage us not to be self-limiting, saying we're only going to focus on the voices of people who physically live in the room, because there's thousands of people that visit the city and frequent the businesses or looking at moving here that are not citizens um, directly. And in theory, you know, you've got people that live on the lake that are not, are not citizens, citizens right. of Liberty Lake. <laughs> right. I mean, so how about just, among the public a sense of shared ownership and accountability? I, it's it's hard because you you've got to you it's it's like you've got to define it to a degree, but then not narrowing it so myopically that we that we miss opportunities to talk to people outside of our circle. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I just I don't have to break it. Yes, Heidi. I see what is being said. At the same time, the whole purpose of this commission is I mean, specific to Liberty Lake to make recommendations to city council 
I mean, I think that that's implied, right? But the requirement to be on this commission is to be a, within the city limits. So I understand we want to be a beacon and hear the input of everyone within Spokane County and Northern Idaho, the whole world. I think that's implied, it's understood. Uh, could we just drop our fellow citizens and go to generate a, uh, generate a sense of shared ownership? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd be for that. I, that, that our fellow shared it is lets you figure out what you want. We need to alternate another word for community outcomes and put community in the beginning, generate among our community, and that can be short and open ended. I like outcomes. I think uh, I think we need to focus on some action. <laughs> well, not necessarily community <laughs> outcomes, but always in the community and put at the end of oh, moving no. community to the beginning. And change another word for community work. So it's not redundant. Okay, so okay, so let's go generate a sense of shared ownership and accountability for the community. So just real quick, mm -hmm. you guys are being fine. It's just an input based off of how we did like Parks and Arts Commission. The ordinance that covers commissions is the legal stuff. So you guys can keep this short and sweet. That's not a problem. It's usually preferred for the commissions to keep these types of things short, concise, public friendly, because the ordinance is your legal coverage. I agree. Yeah, you don't have to worry about legal stuff with the mission statement because that's not going to be yeah. a thing. So my understanding of like a mission statement would be one maximum two sentences with a lack of redundant language that is very easy to repeat. Um, and it's kind of, I, mean, I haven't done a resume in a long time, but if you, you know, if you have your resume and then you have that one little tiny blur about yourself at the beginning that is just sort of the opening sentence for everything that comes after it, is that that's my understanding of a mission statement, short, sweet, and to the point, and then everything that goes underneath it would be your mission objectives and all of the additional information where if you like what you see in the mission statement and you want to hear more, then you can move on. Um, so, I mean, I think that this is fantastic and I think we could probably cut out some redundant language to get to the heart of what this is and put it into a really nice short sweet statement. Okay. So, We already talked about collaboration with the mayor city council in this draft that we have. Let's cut that out. Are you guys okay with that one? Let's, um, we already talked about create and facilitate varied opportunities. We, we, we have that in our specific about how we're going to do that. So now we're up to generate a sense of shared ownership and accountability. And I'm not sure that that's exactly what we do as a commission actually. You need to take the first and the second statements and combine them together. Okay, generate them. Um, trying to do that. Generate, what we, we, none of us like to of fellow citizens. So we generate a sense of shared ownership and accountability for the community. And and create opportunities for the public to engage the city government. Period. That would give us that simple, short, yeah. What if we said stakeholders instead of public? Yeah. So that gets to everybody who has an interest. Heidi, are you still there? What 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 are you feeling? You feel thank you. Yes, I'm I'm here. I really think that the collaborate part is good. So I think everything else you all are engaging about is helpful. But when it says collaborate, I think that um, honestly, 
that's the way things are now. So advise and all that, it sounds good, but I'm fine with collaborate. All right, thanks. Okay, so let me try this again. <laughs> Generate a sense of shared ownership and accountability for the community. And create opportunities to engage with the city government. Period. That would give us, I think, that one basic sentence that everything could go under. Am I close? I mean, I think if we're going to link the two, I think you need some sort of linking word, which would be through or some action oriented linking thing. I, I personally don't have a problem with this, as, with a, a mission statement being a paragraph with a, a typical, again, a log line or a um, a mission sentence, something that's one sentence, but I do think that when we have these very things, I, I don't think his thing was far off personally. I think that was a nice little read, a nice little blurb about stuff. And to cram it all into one sentence, that doesn't seem fun to me. Um, but if we were to do one sentence, I think it should be uh, keywords and, and mean something in itself, not being just trying to put it all together. So I think it's inventing that new sentence. Maybe well, from this, I, I will tell you that what my thinking after reading this and the legislation that's not the right word when it's the city, is it? The ordinance. Ordinance. The ordinance was that the, the, and the whole purpose is to create a sense among people who have an interest in Liberty Lane a sense that they share accountability and responsibility for making this a good place to live. So that, I think that is what we do. We do it by creating opportunities for them to interact, engage with the government, either by uh, expressing their opinions, uh, participating in polls, or signing, uh, uh, helping us to our, all, all of those kinds of ways, but getting more people, and, and, and did it seem to be more than once. We hear from the same few people all the time. We want to hear from more people all the time. So I think we do that by creating opportunities and, and promoting them. And then the thing that remains is for us, because we don't exist in a governmental vacuum, whatever we do, we have to collaborate with the elected officials in Liberty Lake for their direction, for their approval or disapproval, or and and hopefully, if we're doing our job well, to inform them so that they'll feel like the community engagement mission is bringing to them knowledge, insight that they would not have otherwise obtained. Mm -hmm. So, I, I I will tell you that I I think that we have to do all three of those things, and I was trying. And I'm sure there's a better way. I was trying to keep them explicit and short. I, and I think if we if we ignore any of those, then we're ignoring something that we have been charged with. So I, I wanted to just that this just for a second. So I, I think what I when I hear you kind of talking through those pieces, what I hear are like hows, like how are we doing? We're doing it through gathering input and providing uh, information back, reporting out, we're providing opportunity, trying to create opportunities for them to engage. So it's it's like those are the those are the hows. I think those are the what. Or yeah, I, or 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 what we're doing, or how we're doing it in, in some way, shape, or form. I think the the, how. You know, it's okay that, that when I when I think about um, Jen's comment regarding keeping it down, trying to get to a sentence, and yeah, it turns into a little bit of a mishmash, but the piece that I wrote down was our mission is to gather, if you look at what's up there, uh, our mission is to gather ideas, aspirations, input, and feedback from community stakeholders to advise and guide city leadership. 
Yeah, I, I'd like to write that down so I yeah. can see it. But that's, I mean, if you look at what we're charged with, in a nutshell, that's it. So what was it? What, yeah, that's, so how would you our, our mission is okay. to gather ideas, aspirations, input, and feedback from community stakeholders to advise and guide city leadership. Uh -huh. I mean that, and so if we do that, and then we take these pieces and going as building off of the building off of that, as going okay, subsets of that include yeah. these things in more detail, and then goes into Robin's document, which is even more detail mm -hmm. about what we're doing. But that one sentence, what are we doing? That's it. Mm -hmm. You know, and if I think back to the conversations I've had with people who have asked me, like, what the heck are we doing? Right. <laughs> you know, you what do you do? Well, well yeah, we're I mean, this state. is basically what, we, what I've been telling them. I mean, yeah. really, if I really think about it, when they come to the booth, what are we doing? We're trying to we're trying to gather feedback. Well, why are we trying to gather feedback? Because we're trying to advise city council mm -hmm. for city leadership. So that's one I, way. I like it. I did too okay, good. and uh, Aaron, I mean, that's. Yes, thank you. Aaron, this is such a good point. Another thing I'm going to mention too, and this is coming from South Carolina native where, I mean, I just have a real issue. If we're going to say we care about diversity and equity and inclusion, then we really need to put the muscle and the manpower behind that. So you're right. We do need to open the city to everyone's opinions. Does that bring uh, to bear? Do people really know what a great place it is to work? Do they really know that we have public transportation and so they can make it from wherever they live to work here and do they know they can set up a business here so are we open in this language to going to the perry district to working with other community centers like the martin luther king jr outreach center to um you know places in hilliard just even calling or making a social media connect to let them know that they're welcome and their business is welcome. And even like Liberty Lake Launch Academy, there are just so many great resources here that can be accessed either virtually or anyway, that's just one thought. Yeah, and that's great for the specific goals and objectives laid out by Robin, I think. Mm -hmm. So I believe we take mission statement of what Aaron suggested that sort of that one line or two lines for that. And then we used this draft done on September 21st as the more specific mission objective. Is that correct? Are we skipping Bill's other piece? I, I, don't, I don't think we need mine necessarily. I think I like it as friendly. I, agree. <laughs> I think we I do I do think we need something from a hard fast bumper sticker to the nitty gritty. This is for someone who wants to read the article, right? But there needs to be a nice italicized paragraph. But you know, I mean there has to be something that invites us to read the read further. And that's my my you thought. Could extrapolate Robin's a little bit and have you know the one sentence she had at the beginning and then bullet point it out and it might be a little bit um, you think user friendly, right? So yeah. Bullet points are user friendly. Yeah, once we get to the goals, but yeah, down here it's, it's real user friendly. <laughs> okay, so we would let's go back to the draft. Which we, I think we have the mission statement. Is that true? You have it right in there. Okay. I'm, I'm sending it out to everybody. Yeah, right? but, but please send it out. Yeah, that would be great to send it out to us. And I, I believe that we got that one. So, filed now. Summer, you would like, or you said you'd like to see some. When it is, it's sort of like a quote of what that means to the group. You've been taking your film in the blank. Um, I, I would say mission statement, like vision, not vision statement, but vision for Bill, and then uh, specific goals and objectives. That would be my kind of version of it. Um, Okay, not and then the specific goals and objectives then would be just a bullet point list. This one would build the as we're grabbing visual at the same time. So I'm saying mission statement one-liner, right. 
vision or not vision statement, but like vision or something, a sort of italicized version of bills, right. then into specific goals and objectives, which would be whatever we determine from this type of thing. Right. Um, yeah. And plus, yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We can't do that. Yeah. Among our fellow citizens, it's not a real common. We, we have to reword that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we okay. can, once this is, I think, once this outline from what we've determined as the outline, perhaps we can go in and, and nitty gritty. I think for me, I wasn't going to go into the nitty gritty knowing that we'd probably be in some space like this. Yeah. You know, so I wasn't going to go into word choice and things, but I think that would be the appropriate step after we have the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heidi, um, any comments? Does that sound? No, com no comments. I really second what everyone said. Thanks. Okay. So let's go into draft. So that won't be the mission statement, but we'll call it like mission objectives, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, mission objectives, mission statements out, mission objectives. And then paragraph one, that was acceptable for everybody? Yes. Okay, thanks, Heidi. Any, anybody else? Okay. Um, paragraph two. Paragraph two or number two? Paragraph two. Paragraph two. She's still on. Oh, paragraph two. We're still in. We're still in. Yeah. First page. First page. Paragraph two. Again, I think that's the heart of the matter. Is, it, is that acceptable to you? Um, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I got two, okay, three. Are we getting into specific language or are we still general? We, we can get into specific language, but I think we ought to look at right the, the general and then let's go into the specific language if everybody is. Then yes, I will. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that. Now, there was some alternate language that Aaron did provide. Aaron, um, is that still good for everybody? No, you, honestly, I think you can take that out. Okay. That I say take that out because it's still good. We're going to take that. It says alternate language, that paragraph. We're going to remove that. Yeah, I would just scrap that because I feel like that's getting covered with the other language between bills and between the revised mission statements. Okay. I don't think we need to include that. Oh, okay. 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 Everybody good with that? Okay. Sound like this concurrence. Yep. Okay. All good. Excellent. Now we go to the specific goals and objectives. And maybe we can retitle that. Maybe that is the first bullet point. It's number one. And it's where we start to back up the more granular and detailed on how do we get to, to meet the mission and to meet the mission objectives. And I think that really this is talking about designs and looking at optional means and methods in our data collection and analysis, and also to look at communication styles because each projects will probably require different aspects of these. We won't probably be using the same template necessarily. We may, but probably not, depending on the group. Mm -hmm. Is that acceptable? Um, I, I would add maybe something about accessibility. I mean, we have um, communication styles, but maybe there's, there's something about accessibility in there. Okay, so data questions and analysis, comma, communication styles, and accessibility. 
and accessibility. Because I think that's that's a major issue with some of these. The reason we're doing surveys in certain fashions and, and all that, the people we're not including. Good point. Um, number two, just I'm not going to read it, but this was really about how to. A large part of this came from how do we do this and on staying compliance too. Looking at the ordinance. How do we actively really look at that design plan? Level of participation needed. What's included? This is just a portion of, and realizing there could always be more. That level of participation, identifying the stakeholders, incorporating the best communication. So, what does everybody feel about number two? There's just a lot of redundancy with the design and design plan and design. So um, okay. if there are things that have redundancies, I, I could see that each bullet point could maybe have a sort of a subtitle. Maybe it's a bold, you know, a bold in each goal, right? So for me, if I'm going to read a bullet point goal list, if the first one has to do with um, uh, participation techniques or research, it's our research and studies, study. right? Yeah. So that would be like a bold or, you know, whatever. Um, then the next one would be, Design and implement, or whatever those keywords are going to be, mm -hmm. and each goal should have something very specific um, to refer to. So this would be the design and implement goal, or what, whatever it is. And then three becomes the analysis. Exactly, analyze the results, or just analysis in general. Okay. Number four. Okay, no, okay. So number two will be sort of a part of like we're going to look at research and studies. Next thing. Then that's sort of one and two really is the design plan. Well, the first one is for the planning One and two. No, number one. No, number one is okay. So that's the planning. This is the planning and design, right? I think the first is plan, right? And the second is design. Planning. Okay. Second okay. design. Well, research and studies is first, I think, still, right? Because well, yeah, as part of that in the planning stage, I think. Sure, sure. The two is where you have to Yeah, I think that's what happened. We came back, we went back to it in the middle. So, we probably just need to cut some of the top, basically. Yeah. Okay. Then, number three, we go into the analysis that we did on the analysis, we do the analysis of the results, analyze the results. I mean, not that I want to add more, but those are two separate things analyze the results. I mean, it's nice to put them together, but if we are looking at specifics, make recommendations to the mayor, um, is or and city council is technically kind of a, is a, is another thing, yeah. but it is based on that. So, well, within analyze results, you that could be a bold the analyzing results, and then below it you make recommendations. Make recommendations to the mayor, and then the and so the bold would just be like makes recommendations, and then to the mayor and yeah. blah blah blah. So you're saying like the CEC and then we both analyze the results. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. And appropriately makes recommendations, makes recommendations bold. So that you could read through this and it researches and studies, design and implement, blah, blah, blah. And, but yeah, analyze the results, make recommendations. As part of that analyze results, you also need to create a mechanism for reporting the information back out. Which I think is kind of in the end of two. Which could be pulled from two, uh, provide timely feedback. Time it, it's kind of in that when that can go away, this two's too much. Yeah, it is.
but I see there's still that piece missing here. And so whatever that is. So I think on the feedback mechanism, if you go on, I put it, I did talk about the feedback mechanism in here. Outreach. Number six, the CEC developed specific criteria. What we didn't like that validates the group performance and feedback mechanism. Kind of seeing that in number two also. Yeah, I probably did get redundant. That's not yeah. so mm -hmm. I would I would take it out if you know if you're gonna keep it over here on number six, you should take it out of here. Number, number two needs to be really condensed too. Yeah, okay. And I think for me, this is gonna be looking at it in a deep dive, not in this right. form here. So I think that I mean I can just say generally keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number four, number four. Okay, number four. Um, I would say community instead of specific. I don't know if anyone else cares about that. Community, right. Everybody, okay, um, for number four, changes specific to community event. Okay. All good. All good. Thanks, Heidi. And Greg. During Thank you. Number, number five. Um, I mean, I, we're using collaborate a lot, so that yeah, kind of works me, but um, we can figure something else. I, I mean, I almost wonder if there's a place to say, you know, city hall. <laughs> um if that's appropriate because I, it sounds sort of like again as i don't think we want to be casual about any of it right i think part of our thing is that we're trying to actually i don't know be, become official in some way we, don't, we are sort of official because we're always in the right so i'm just nervous for too much um you know too far away from that. So collaborate if we could do something a little more. They was that official sort of. Is, is number five really necessary in this document? I was wondering. I don't know. Well, well, the same it's, thing, Bill. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's just about how we get along with each other. Absolutely. Not okay. To work. Let's remove that one if everybody's agreeable to that. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll just get along. Do we get through consensus or taking the vote? No, we're just doing consensus right now. <laughs> Heidi, are you okay with removal of number five? I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Um, number six. Um, I think we've evaluated down at number 10. Well, but evaluate in number 10 talks about the mission statements and you show, sure. but evaluate up under here. We're talking about the projects or initiatives that are assigned to us in that. So can I make this, can I make a recommendation? I think it's like, you gotta come, I think we need to compartmentalize it even further, in my opinion. Like, I think you've got. It's like create a, create a category that is related to feedback mechanisms and the survey, basically, mm -hmm. right? So that's the one broad category. So that's one of our big goals: gathering gathering input and feedback from the community and the stakeholders, right? So that's that's our big goals, and then outlining below that the studies and designs, the design plan. Analyzing the results and reporting out. That's that's kind of our, our big, big big picture thing there. The 
mission statement and associated goals can kind of come secondary and kind of outside of that. Uh, the networking and working with other organizations and or commissions and city government could be outside of that. So it's like you've got the, the actual work we're doing is associated with gathering the input and the feedback, right? So that's that's one way, this is just one way of looking at it. It may not be right, but I'm just saying, so uh, shoot holes in it <laughs> along the way. Um, but if we've got that big piece of it, and then we've got the other goals and objectives, which are working with city council and city leadership, working with other community stakeholder organizations together, you know, um, in whichever fashion we want to identify it. The process that we have as far as developing annual reports, like that subset of it, or or in in, in kind of a thing by itself, as you had it laid out here, but yeah. that might be a way of, or, uh, to Summer's point, removing some of the redundancies okay. yeah. and streamlining it too, so that as you're reading through it, everything associated with sending a survey basically is all together in one box. So let me and go. Then does this sound good, Aaron? So we can talk about the issues next time. We somebody has one now. <laughs> um, and then we went to the mission objectives on there, and we looked at the first couple of paragraphs, which seem to be generally workable, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then okay, and I like that. So then we go back into the is it the sort of the studies? I'm just trying to do the outline right now. What just so we have a good outline? Because I think we're making like the planning process, right? So the planning process where we are in like not is it research is studies and new designs or is that I think that's a planning process. Is that correct? So we have strategies, I think is a word that we're looking for, maybe. To Aaron's mission point. objectives and strategies, yeah. then well, because if it's objectives, goals, and strategies, those are common. Um, okay, mission objectives, goals, and strategies, mm -hmm. and then so these are all separate. Are they mission objectives or are they uh commissioned? objectives well they support the mission statement but um actually you go either or i don't think that's um well isn't this supposed to be backing up the mission statement that's what you're doing isn't it yeah well yeah i, I need a mission okay so that, that's good. Uh, mission, objective, goals, and strategy. Okay. Then underneath there, I, I believe what you said is then we have to have a little bullet points. Uh, and the first thing is typically is planning, right? And well, I, I would go I would go further back to planning. Each aspect might have, or each bullet might have some phase of planning involved, right? So if we look at, um, uh, if we talk about the feedback mechanisms and trying to get do surveys and you know and that process, right? So maybe that's the initial bullet. Um, words are not coming to me really well right now. <laughs> But if we start, and with, I'm not interpreting your words for anyone either. <laughs> if we start with the brush, like it, like you think about the trailhead fund, you know, as, a, as a kind of a good as a, a kind of a baseline. Okay, so where did we need to start with that? We need to start with the the background and reconnaissance. Background reconnaissance on it. We needed to get the information. We needed to develop a survey that was amenable to both the city and. Uh, the community we needed to figure out how we were going to gather the information how we we're going to report it out like those are all the steps that are on, along the way so those could be included in some fashion mm -hmm. as a subset um i'm trying to think of a good term as far as how we can phrase our work as it relates to gathering feedback 
um, from community stakeholders. Maybe it's just that. Um, but our first objective is to gather yeah. feedback, right? We need to get the feedback from community stakeholders and that stakeholder and group we need to identify, right? So we've got to define what our stakeholder group is. So if we say first bullet of our missions, objectives and strategies is gather feedback from community stakeholders. So that's first bullet. Under that, community, let's, we need to define community stakeholders. So who are those? So you can say residents, right? So they're a stakeholder group. You've got, um, uh, business owners mm -hmm. are a stakeholder group. You've got visitors to the city as a stakeholder group. Um, you've got uh, a city council as a stakeholder group. So I'll put them in a sec sec secondary bucket. And other commissions would be a, a, a stakeholder group. So you've got five stakeholders. So we can define that so that we know as we're gathering input and feedback from stakeholder groups, these are the stakeholder groups that we're focusing on. So you got those five boxes. And I and I and I agree with that. I don't think it's a separate thing, though. I see it as that's all a part of the design plan. Because the community participation design plan will a part of that is gonna, you know, list the stakeholder group. We're going to look at what the background is and then figure out the best means and methods. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so yeah, I, I follow. I just I think I, I, I would think encourage the same thing. We are, but I would encourage us in some way, shape, or form to define if we're gonna use the word stakeholder group, somewhere we need to define what that is. Because if we don't, that's where in my in my past experience, if we don't define that group of who our stakeholders are, I could see creep, mission creep really easily where it's like well we didn't like well we didn't use this group before but we're going to pull them in mm -hmm. and it's like okay but but why and then again does it go back to who we are as a mission what did we set up our our buckets and parameters to begin with i mean i, I think all of this is trying to define um i think i used the term with you when we were talking before like left and right strategic bumpers like we've got our left side and our right side and this is kind of to help keep us in our lane so that we don't go too far off the rails. So I agree with you within the design phase that within that survey itself, in that planning process, we would identify which stakeholder groups we would potentially survey, but they, in my, the way I'm picturing it, would almost be a subset of the pri primary categories of groups that we're gonna work, work with our stakeholder groups that we're focusing on. We have our stakeholder groups, these five buckets, but this survey that we're gonna be creating is only potentially going to three of those buckets because it's very because it's a narrowed focus for a specific topic or it's designed in a specific way as part of that planning process to only go to those three buckets of uh, key stakeholders. I, I can see that sense? in number one for exactly what you're saying. I mean, I can see that we're number one as sort of as it is whatever for identified stakeholders. Right. Line, 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 line. Right. Right. Just for identified stakeholders. Right. Um, and then listen to them. Yeah. It, <laughs> I mean, we can leave it broad. I guess that's, and ultimately that's, you know, to, sure. to, to and maybe figure out identify what we're going to on. Uh, that's, I'm just, that's my two I, cents and concern as far as not identifying. I think it's great. That's why I would, I would pitch identified stakeholders as, as some key, some key words, because I think that's, that's what has to happen. So, in which number? Well, for me, it would be in one because I, that's part of the planning process. I mean, if we're taking a project management side of things, right? It's got to be research so, the thing, so, so we identify can, the stakeholders. But we agree that the first thing is the planning process. We sure. And that it's under the umbrella of planning. Yes. Okay. And then within there, we're gonna. That's when we identify the stakeholders because we're doing it for identified stakeholders, right? That's mm -hmm. that's who we're doing this. Okay, so which includes all the things: citizens, res uh, yeah, residents, businesses, and visitors, and city council, etc. Is that well? So I guess the question is: Are we identifying goals and objectives? 
and strategies related to specific surveys and that process. Like, are, we, are you talking about the planning process for an individual survey, or are you talking about our process as a commission and how we're going to execute on the broader topic of surveys and information? So, so cause, yeah, you know, cause, cause if you're saying, well, we're gonna do a planning process and then we're gonna identify the stakeholders as part of that planning process, to me, that's further down in the tree, so to speak, than saying our broader mission and objective is to, um, you know, gather feedback from the community stakeholders, and we're going to do that through a planning process and design process and yada yada. And these are the, and those are the things like you've laid out. Those are the things that fall under there, mm -hmm. but the finer details of um, or the minutia of the planning process to identify the stakeholder groups related to each survey and all that, I don't know that needs to be included in, in this level of the document. And I don't know either. So this level of document was, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Robin. I'll... So this level of document is, is a more overview, not specific. By the time we get into the design, we start planning to the design plan, then we are very much looking at who the stakeholders are. Right. What needs in that is. And we actually have the event and we all develop that design plan depending on what particular project, policy, or whatever is given to us by the mayor and the city council. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. So the, the question I have now is again. How long can I claim being new? Do I have like two months? Uh, you're you're <laughs> old, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, you know, you're fine. That's just, you know, there's no new way. Uh -huh. You're part of the team now. What? what yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking at time and, and this conversation we're agreeing on so much. We, we like the content here. What if, what if? We were to assign a couple of people. I'm thinking Summer and Heron <laughs> to work on this uh, out, not taking this document and working on it outside of our meeting time. We can keep it in front of us with the with Outlook, you know. And I, I just I, I wonder this many people is productive right now. It's about seven o'clock, and we're still on item one. You know, and and maybe maybe we just have to do this. Maybe we just have to do it this way. But I was wondering if we could do it. And by the time we met next time, we could all be in agreement. I think there's sometimes a fear of, of what we do outside of here. So I think there's a little piece of that. But I, if there's room, you know, if that doesn't scare anyone, then I I'm not. If we're all in agreement, I don't see an issue. I don't know if you were going this direction, but I would advise against putting the document out there for everybody to comment on. Right. And I agree completely. Oh, yeah. If you're, uh, kind of That's wildly area. outside, wildly area. against the bylaws. It's yes. Yeah. yeah and, and sorry, sorry to chime in on Zoom here, but uh, I just uh, if you you have a quorum. Of of you all within the commission outside of a public meeting, you cannot discuss. So I just want to make sure you all know that Correct. is not open allowed. public meetings act. Yes, thank you. Open public meetings act. Correct. Yeah, yeah, but if we had, but if it was summer and I, was a as a subgroup working on it, we would not have a quorum, and right. we could go through that workshop process. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Yes, and I, if I could just. Uh, not really interject, but um, based on kind of what your guys' talks are. Uh, so Trevor Reagan uh, with the city, Larry Lake, been with the city for 12 years. Um, I would recommend maybe moving away from, from the term stakeholders, in my opinion, based on me working with the Parks and Arts Commission for a couple of years now. Um, the city does not have a continuing donor stakeholder that is named. So maybe consider moving away from that term stakeholders and 
giving a definition of that stakeholder within the community engagement. Uh, just my recommendation. It's it's a little a, a term that could be misunderstood by others. Um, so maybe just stray away, away from that. Um, I could pass this along to Kyle Dixon, our financial director, tomorrow. But um, as the community engagement commission, you're not looking to have a permanent donor stakeholder for the city you're looking to engage with the city on projects what they want uh, but i will pass that along to kyle dixon and our mayor just to make sure that it's not a language that would go against uh our any rcw laws um just want so to know that. just just for my own clarification <laughs> yeah so in the city's language, stakeholder equals donor. I know that I, I do not know if or that, that or that that's what you think. It or, could be interpreted. Right. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, exactly. It could be interpreted as a donor, and within the donor, um, so to donate to the city, the city can't just accept the donation. It has to go through city council, and right. to and so to just set a standard of this is our stakeholders donors uh it could be interpreted by others differently so just opinion uh, and obviously I, I will pass this along and make sure but uh I, I would maybe stray away from stakeholders as a term that you guys are using within your mission statement Okay. That's that's a good point, Trevor. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, because again, this is not a legal document. The ordinance and what's already in place is is what defines and guides your group. Mm -hmm. These are just yeah, what kind of what you guys are providing. So yeah, we want to avoid any language that could be misinterpreted by the public because it's seen by the public. They they it will be open to their interpretation. So fully understand that stakeholder in in the context of this meeting right now means something totally different. But Joe Smith might think, okay, well, who are they receiving donations from? That's who right. funds this commission? Nobody. Well, I yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty popular term at this point for for project management type stuff and common right. verbiage. Um, and I think we've gone away as from that. But if we're still in that, obviously, a, a, another mm -hmm. word is partner. Right, and we can come up with a list of alternates. <laughs> we'll find right. a thesaurus. <laughs> I will get out part of the only good one. People, when I think of stakeholders, I think of businesses and people who donate. Yeah. So I don't think of from a city stand because well, yeah, just in general, from that yeah. I don't think of community when I think of your stakeholders. And I did not put that term in there because I knew that it had a couple of different interpretations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's not the to diminish any any yeah. goal. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I just I just want to you know, as 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 someone that that has been at city council and and heard terms that are uh, misconstrued by by others by the community. Just want to let you guys know. Uh, just my recommendation. Obviously, I'm not a part of the commission. Uh, I'm just a city employee. It's just a recommendation. I've I've been a part of the Parks and Arts Commission for years now. Um, just a recommendation that I'm making to you all that a stakeholder, that term could be misconstrued and considered other than what you guys think. Of. That, that makes sense. I, yeah, you know. and, and if you notice, yeah, that's why I was, I didn't use that term in here because there's different interpretations when you're with the local jurisdiction in it and you just have to be careful. So, Excuse um, me, one, one moment, Robin. I, excuse me, y'all. I need to drop off. I appreciate everyone's tolerance, but I've got another meeting coming up. So, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye, everyone. So, do you guys still see this as then the planning sort of analysis, feedback in those groups? Because we need to at least get the outline of what we are. We're going to remove the alternate language. We're going to remove number five. 
Yes. From what I can gather from kind of all of the goals and objectives that are there, it seems like we could fit almost everything into some research and planning, design and implementation, analysis. Another word for collaboration, because we don't like that, but essentially when we're communicating with with um, city council and whatnot, and then evaluation because we are feedback yeah. and so on. Design. I'm going to ask for what Bill is saying here. Well, if we can get the general outline going, I think Summer and Aaron would just reach out and give us details. Merry Christmas, Summer. <laughs> We're going to have to send my thing to That's true. <laughs> it's only a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think before evaluation could be analysis. Yeah. Yeah, and then whatever word you want to use in lieu of collaboration. Well, you know, the ordinance called it is co-production. I think we should always, they, they, they use that quite often and it's called co-production. Yeah, so let's call it. It's just, I don't mind it sometimes. I just think we have a lot of it. That was my <laughs> Here's my here's little <laughs> feedback about it. And we'll, we can work up is I get the stakeholder thing. From the city <laughs> standpoint, and so we'll just put that to bed for a while. But whatever language we come up with, back to Bill's point at the beginning of this, which is trying to make this so that anybody reading it is actually going to understand it. And co-production, they're going to have no clue what that is. I mean, I mean, how many people use that in their terminology? I mean, they don't. And so, I we we will. Have, we'll come up with something. Yeah, we're we're collaborating. We're going to collaborate. I have two that we could maybe cut. Okay. Uh, nine and twelve. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rob. On the the outline one, I think under analysis would be. What have you? We're gonna put we're gonna put collaboration for now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we do, yeah. So analysis and then collaboration and then evaluation and take off recommendations. So because the collaboration would be the recommendations with the city council, evaluation would be the feedback from whatever evaluation feedback. And then you want a collaboration in between analysis and evaluation. Because I think evaluation is going to be the feedback of whatever comes. That's a separate goal, yeah. right? What? I'll give that true. I'm sorry, there. Collaboration, yeah, we'll give a separate bullet. And then um, then you can remove the recommendation between. Yeah, that's what I Okay. You like that outline? Planning, planning, implementation, analysis, collaboration, evaluation, feedback. Mm -hmm. Say that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some in there and some fill in the blanks. Yep. Thanks, and then, yeah. and from in there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you need to, or you can do it all, then you can use the graph. There's anything in there. There's a lot of good content here. Yeah, great. There's a lot of good content. Yeah. Of good content. Yeah. I think it's more. We just need to organize it better. Yeah, so that it's and I, I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm really glad that you guys are going to do that. Like, 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs> you did the hard work, though. You did the hard work, though. You know what? No, she did a great thing. Yeah. That's you know, the hard work. Yeah, absolutely. Stuff. Sometimes you have to, to give somebody something to shoot at. I, I just knew that we're going to yeah, I'm not because it's really working. Okay, now, now which one do you want to move? Nine and 12. I feel like those are the specifics of what we do, you know. Okay, now that's in the ordinance. And the reason why I put that in there, because it this will be important. Now, I, I would ask somebody to think about this to leave it in there because a written report is required and it's in the ordinance. And the preparation, and this is a part of our work strategy, this needs to begin and start in June in order for us and it all has to pertain to the budget. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to be positioned on that one. 
I just think that that's part of evaluation. You know, um, there's different types of evaluation, right? And and one of them is perhaps our public facing evaluation. Um, and yeah, I think th I think this and the twelve to me kind of speak to that nitty gritty of of again, it doesn't fit with me with the mission. If we're calling this mission objectives, I'm not sure that that is exactly there. Um, but it could be under a subtitle of again evaluation or planning. Okay. Or, okay. I I would, you know. okay. I no. If, if we can put it under evaluation or planning. Still be within within the statement. Though. Yeah, it would still be within the statement. This is really important because it's a compliance issue within the ordinance, mm -hmm. and we need to now we end up being on this timeline of a work plan. Okay, June commission needs to start here, and okay, mm -hmm. everybody on board with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's fine if you want to put it. I'll let you guys choose on where you want to situate that and which block. And the establishing the bylaws, it, it, it's not necessarily something that is continuous. No, no, it's one shot. It's something that we need. That's to our to-do list. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is our to-do, and it needs to go into the work plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I I feel good about the general you. outline. Huh? I think there's a good <laughs> general outline. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Jen. Jen. <laughs> <laughs> so this is everybody agrees that this is now yeah. who, who wrote down the mission statement? Yeah, I see Yeah, yeah. 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 So we got that. We're on top of it. We're gonna ask yeah. And then we're gonna <laughs> get our uh, this is great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five areas. Mm -hmm. And then you guys are going to figure out how to put those, whatever the rough draft is, in these five areas. How does that sound? Yeah, I, I, would, I would feel comfortable if there was either a motion to appoint X number of people to do this, or if there are a couple of volunteers to say, we will do this. It, it came up kind of casually with other yeah, people yeah. nominating for suggesting other people. I would feel comfortable with establishing. Okay. Okay, so we'll say yes, we'll do this or develop. Let's establish by a motion. Someone make a motion. I move that Aaron Asmus and Summer Darrell like be designated uh, as a subcommittee of our commission to do what we've been said they <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? So I'd like to clarify that. And I'm going to basically use this rough draft and go by the outline that's now been designated and then come back with another draft. Okay, so it's I feel careful if you said that as part of this motion. Yeah. You know, have a, a clear motion. Yeah. <laughs> You're expecting to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Bill. You can just say Bill, you haven't come out of your So we have the motion now. Work on this, bring something back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I move that Aaron Asmus and Summer Darrow. As in clearance, uh, be designated the subcommittee to uh, extrapolate from the outline that we have agreed upon yeah. using material that we have approved as a group mm -hmm. to come up with a polished final document. Amen. I second it. All in our favor. Second draft. I'll make that the next draft or something. Second draft. Okay, yes, a, yeah. a, a draft for commission approval. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's our motion. Right. Second. I second it. And all in favor? I <laughs> That was close. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid. My goodness. <laughs> Uh, you need somebody keeping us on the rail. Yeah, thanks, David. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot of moving parts to this, wasn't there? Yeah, that was very uh, good. That was good. Okay. Okay. Okay.
So we're now we're on the agenda. We're on the and maybe this is included maybe in a part of our mission statement. It's called the role of the CEC members. So I know last time we had talked about the engagement conversation about some of the roles and is it worth discussing it again? Is any, you know, I know we have two new members and your thoughts on. I'd like to get a survey of the commission in general to see if we need to further discuss that. I mean, I wasn't here for the last meeting, but I'll throw my two cents in. And, you know, I think that if we look at what our mandate is from a statute standpoint, and how that's being developed within the documents that we've got, the outline, and everything we've talked about so far this evening. It seems like our role is really centered around information gathering uh, across community groups. Collaboratively. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to use the word stakeholders again. Um, yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's that's our role, right? I mean, that's that's our function is to serve as kind of that intermediary between whether it's residents, visitors to the city, um, and the city council, and uh, commission other commissions, and vice versa. I mean, we're kind of that go between. I feel like that's you know, in the most simplistic terms, our role is you know. It's not necessarily fun to be the middleman, but in this case, we can have a lot of fun with it and really do some really positive work with it and influence some positive work by providing context and detail and data and information to both ends of the spectrum, meaning the residents and the visitors to the city and the city you know, leadership and council. I think, I think that's where our sweet spot lies. I think we can stay, you know, if we can stay focused on that, we can get a lot of stuff done um, as a group. So I feel like that's that's my initial two cents. Okay. Anybody else? Boy, I wish I didn't have anything else. Um, but uh, I was wondering, is there any point to explore the fact that we, uh, there's a few of us from each sort of zone or district? Is there any special specialness to that? Should we make ourselves known in our individual micro neighborhoods in any way, or are we just kind of a free for all with the same, you know, that we know that we're representing by number someone? I don't know. It was just something I was thinking about today because we had mentioned sort of block captains, uh, you know, that idea. Not that I'd want anything to do with that. I just, um, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if when we talk about roles, if there is something other than the sort of mission statement version of roles. If there, if there are specific things, in this case, we have a subcommittee happening, you know, um, are there, you know, I don't know, is there room for something like that? Just say no. No. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I would have to. <laughs> the ghetto knows who we are, right? So they do. Yeah. We've got the mayor. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. Honestly, I think we all know what our role is, you know, and we're learning as we go. We're learning. And, and you know, to, to actually sit and try to establish our roles today. No, uh, we're, we're still learning. And, and I don't know, I don't even know if we need that. I don't know. It's up, you know, it's up to everyone else, but they do very much, yes. Mm -hmm. And they're dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, so what you put down today could be different next month. It could be different the next month. So it's you know. With me as is, I like what Aaron said, um, and I like what I've heard in the past. And is it okay if we just let our role be called? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. See, 20 minutes? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> no, you know, our mission statement, I, I was trying to get us out, but you know, great. Right. I have that. It took a little bit, but I think we made a lot of huge strides in where we're going. Mm -hmm. 
And I believe we've been, you know, doing this work together, and I think that that's important. Nothing we haven't done in the past. We've already worked together. You know, that's exactly, that's one and, and that's why we're that. going to continue. And I think yep. that this is, we're still, it takes longer when you do this, the, the collaborative okay. approach, but you usually get a better product and result when you do it this way. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we have new and unfinished business and upcoming opportunity. David, I know that we have two. We got the city website and we have the capital improvement or the capital um, yeah, improvement budget. And so what I'd like is, Mark, you were there at the city council meeting last night, right? For about five minutes, I took my keys from the left. <laughs> oh, well, I, I didn't tired. know that. Okay. I was tired. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I did. So I did. I did that. Okay. Well, so I was. I attended via Zoom. Good. And David was there. So David, I'm going to let you because I'm more than talk enough. Um, I want to let you go ahead and provide us with that. I like to defer to Summer and here. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we've got uh, three more Saturdays of farmers market coming up, and there was discussion about the budget last night. And actually, this goes back a couple months. Some of the council members have been wanting this group to have some kind of involvement with getting public input on the coming year's budget. And um, uh, Mark McAvoy came on uh, last night via Zoom in, in his uh, city administrator's report. He uh, took note of the fact that this is a group that's still uh, kind of starting out get, getting a foothold on who you are and what you will be and how things will work as evidence tonight. And uh, his, I, I felt his uh, communication to the council was that this group is going to be better prepared next year, a year from now, to assist with public engagement for the budget a year from now. Absolutely. Right now, um, I, I think his, his communication was that things aren't all quite there to get the type of good feedback that I think the council wants to get from this idea they have of the public engagement. So, um, but, but I think we can still get a little bit. So with the three farmers market dates coming up, um, and I have the idea since I, I found some new tripods here a couple of hours ago. We could potentially put up two tripods and survey the public for the next three weeks on not just one question, but two, uh, both of which should have a, what I feel is a very useful benefit, at least one of them, certainly for me personally. Uh, I think it would make sense to have a question up there, and I'm going to be talking with uh, Kyle Dixon here tomorrow, I think, on. Um, a list of what are some key budgetary items that we could get feedback from on the public about, rather than just have people start writing out things and we're getting feedback of you know this budget for an extra day on the interstate, which we have nothing to do with. <laughs> You'll get the same. Yes. You probably yeah. we would probably get the same answers that or the same the feedback that we do with the AR. So, yeah. uh, so that's be specific. And yeah, so Kyle and I are going to, going to work up a. Kind of a list if, if everybody's okay with doing it this way and letting people uh, offer their feedback next to these Saturdays. And then the other one is um, our staff, myself included, is going to be taking some training on um, how to, how we uh, work our website and maybe do some enhancements on it, some improvements on it, some ways to make a few things easier to find. I, I think it's not all that bad. When I was applying for the position, of course, I went to the website. I was fairly able to find the things I was looking for where I was going to find them. But since I've been working here, it's like I'm getting more into the nitty gritty, and some things are not where I think they should be or should be explained better. So we're going to be doing some uh, staff trainings here two uh, two days next October next month, and after that happens, I want to do some reworking of the website. I know one idea was um, brought to one of our council members last Saturday at the event. So I want to see a second one of these set up in the next three Saturdays, asking people, what do you want to find when you go to the city's website? What are you looking for? And then and based on that response, we kind of get the idea of these are the items we need to put more up front for people. These are things we, we need to not have be buried so much. Everything else out there is probably valid, but we need to know from the public, what are they looking for? Why are they coming? 
And then Robin, I don't know if anybody on the Facebook site, but Robin adjusted the way the voting was done last Saturday. Um, we've always been doing these tally marks. And maybe you can go ahead and speak to this, but I think you indicated people tended to be engaged more with dot, dots. Yeah, hard dots. Just encourage everybody at their age, kids are up there, teenagers, right. just every, and they just like dots. And, and I sort of have done this before, and I, I know that the dots are very popular, so we get more participation with dots, and I don't know why, because I don't have, but. Can you I, explain what you're talking about dots? I, I don't mean yeah. yeah, I know that, but what 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 are you um so what did you do? Well what rather we, we she had the uh the main categories of uh so I just ask people could about respond. Here's what happened on and go ahead and pass this around. So this was the fourth week and you know people just were the pound in it and so I said Oh, so that that's how you keep your voting instead of yeah. Um, uh, I see, I see. So other people and then they really appreciated the dots engagement. Okay, okay. I see. Okay. As elementary school kids, we yeah. kind of train a lot of to play with kids. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. And, and each person gets like three dots. Or... You know what? On this one, they, they, they said, "How many people get their vote for?" And and I said. Whatever you want. Huh. I didn't even you know, I just wanted to. That's fine. Right. That's good. Can I have a look at the, uh, the online list for a couple of weeks? When I called, I don't want to. Do we have people sign up for the next? Yeah, semester? I saw that. No. What? And I, and I can talk to the two of you other folks. Do, do we have people sign up next three Saturdays? Um, no, I can do it. This Saturday, don't know about Saturday after that. I because that I, I mean, I can set up to the display so that um, we have those so that if, if everybody can. I can do the first. I will uh, I'll push out the, uh, the side of the tomorrow. You know, so you can okay. Yeah, I can do the first. Um, did we mention about the Questions kind of doing the you know A or B choice for people instead of the you know all the options but rather than come up with your yeah um I think uh the trail going back to the trailhead stuff when we got to the point of saying would you like this you know this lower budget option or spending more money right that was a real clear choice for people to make um and I think one thing that's missing and we saw it a lot in the um initial thing when it was just a free for all what do you want is there's no concept of what the budgetary impact is on anything so if in your conversation within those questions we have some clear talking points that would be really helpful yeah let's make it black and white that's okay. great yeah <laughs> the, the one other piece of feedback just on the, the herpa side of things as far as as we were serving people as well is I think one of the learnings, and I mentioned it to Robin when we talked to, which is one of the learnings I think coming back from that is the mechanism of us reporting that information back out to the community and what the response was from city leadership and 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 true response. And so I think you know, going back to the council member's comment about we're not ready as a us as a commission to you know do this surveys related to the budget thoroughly, I would encourage the city council, and somehow we need to figure out how to work this in, that city council and or city leadership also need to identify how their feedback mechanism back to the public is gonna work. Because where we, I think, as a commission can end up being, have a little bit of egg on our face potentially, is if we gather all this great information, all this data, present all this information back to your city leadership and then city leadership does nothing with it yeah it doesn't it doesn't have a formal acknowledgement of it it doesn't say this is our response to the information and even if it's city leadership going in a different direction like that's fine like that's city leadership prerogative right they are the ones that have to make the decisions we are not the decision makers were the advisors but there's got to be some swing both ways where we're going to give that information to them yeah. to make those decisions, there's got to be a mechanism for them to report back out 
And maybe that's through us in some fashion so that the city residents and or almost use that word again, um, <laughs> people we're collaborating with um, know what the end result was. And, and ARP is a great example of that because we surveyed so many people at farmers markets for weeks, <coughs> got all this information and- And somebody commented to me about that. that they're like, well, what happened? Said, yeah, I said, I read the paper and that wasn't on your survey, the, what do you put your money at at yeah. all? And, and I would agree with that. And so it just hurts our credibility and give self so, I don't know how you want to plan on doing that. If it's good to do a survey again, this goes back to means and methods. And or if you just want to say, if you have any comments, you know, here's our website on the city budget. Yeah. But to make it there instead of putting us out there and trying to do a survey and absolutely have the decision makers pretty much ignore us. Yeah. I said that. I said that was about two months ago, if you remember. And, Mark was very prolific about that. And um, it was my understanding that there was going to be something done, but I hadn't heard it. So I, I, I don't know. But then again, um, I was reassured that our commission is very important to the council and that um, moving forward, they will start listening to us, our service. Yeah. So. That's what I was told. So, well, I think it can be that balance. I mean, again, like they don't have to agree with um, or move in or move right yeah, in that, that right. they have to. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's but worth, it would though. be nice to pay. There's got to be a communication, communication message. Is there? I think it's I was just going to ask if there's a public place or, or space for us to acknowledge these things. Uh, this is not what I'm saying, but some version of like the CEC corner of the splash or something. If there's a place for us to acknowledge this that, reception and output, that would be fantastic. Okay. Okay. I, I, I can say for an absolute fact, at least the stuff on the website, I will make use of those comments. Um, yeah, the more we can have. But in this case, you know, even with the trial and even with the ARPA, oh, those yeah. two that we did, we never, we never report. I mean, it says specifically in the ordinance in order to give recommendations to the mayor and city council on these projects and how we meet the goals and everything. But but before you give a recommendation, you got to have the facts and the analysis. You know what to recommend to yeah. them, and we never got the data. We still don't know the data results. The uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The, I think the uh, budget process will be continuing into November. There are going to be two more public hearings, I think, uh, during October on this. At, mm -hmm. at each of the um, city council meetings, we are we do have the opportunity if we so choose. To be on the agenda for a, a report from this commission, mm -hmm. and I think it would maybe it would make sense to do a report at both of those meetings in October, saying here's the update on the results we got mm -hmm. the last Saturday, the last two Saturdays. You mean on on the favorite event? No, well, you're, you're talking, talking about the budget. You're talking about the budget. That that one yeah. too. I mean, you might as well tell them what you're doing. Yeah. But, yeah. but I'm talking about specifically the budget once so they have that information. But we may not have. Okay, just up to that date, and we'll find that they yeah. may not have all of those. Certainly, but, but at least the, the council will be updated where things are standing now and what we've been doing. And at least they will be getting a little bit of a sense of here's some things the public is taking some priority in based on you know, those polls that are on Saturday morning. But I think some, some of what people are saying too, right, is that having a little bit more two-way communication, right, mm -hmm. between the council with us as well. And I think it's important if we look at our, our mission objectives is to have that, I think that's, um, what did you say, that evaluation and feedback. I mean, to make sure that we're being an effective group, I guess. Mm -hmm. And transparent, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we need to be able to be transparent with the uh, folks we're serving on what the city council's response was as well. David, did you hear that that 
I, I made again not a specific point, but something about doing like a CEC corner or something in the splash or, or I'm using that as an example, but some for some some place where we're saying, hey, this is what we brought to city council. They city council is asking us about this, you know, something that's that's a very and it can it can be from that report that we're giving. It can be what our report is, but it's again, it's a friendly version of that report. Okay, that's that's why I was making sure I got your attention. Thank you. Okay, so that was the first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
public information out there as far as here's what we said. Is anybody listening? Kind of a thing. I, I was like three or four weeks ago. Robin started sending me photos of the responses on these things on Saturdays. And I, I think I received one or two of them earlier on on Murray question. But when you sent me those first ones, I thought a couple of weeks ago, I thought, why have I not been putting these on Facebook? Right. So every Friday before the day before the next one, which will come coming the next day, I'm now putting up these poll results so at least people can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the results here's the, here's the, here's the were after I was there, 10 30 last Saturday. Or I wasn't there, but here's what everybody else is saying. Yeah. Um, kind of helps build at least you know some community discussion, I think, that way. Mm -hmm. but, Again, I'm thinking, why did I not do that months ago? <laughs> yeah. And and the city council sees that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back then. You, you you will let us know what will go up then. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll be talking with the and I'll, and I'll help with that report on whatever. Yeah, I'll, uh, the, the nature of those two questions is I will have to come up with. Um, the categories I'll be putting out there just so they're really useful ones. It will be useful to the council, will be useful for me on the other question. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing where the dots go. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to that. Uh, but since, I, since I'm still screwed on the floor, one other thing I want to have you consider for um, maybe for the next meeting. Look at the possibility of changing the time of the meeting because of some staff issues, and we need to be doing some adjustments here in the next couple of months. Um, some of the commissions do meet. I think the planning commission meets at four. All of our all the other meet at four. So just putting the idea out there again. You'll need to think about this until next month. Um, do we want to have earlier meeting times? To accommodate your schedule as well as uh, some, some of the staff need to be here during those meetings. Yes. So I think that's think totally up to people that are employed. Or a lot of time must be the easiest time for staff. For the staff, the same staff time. Doesn't get cold winter. Um, why does it get dark early or something? Right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's it's don't there be snow? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we just kind of wanted to give you guys that heads up that as we approach um, a busier time of year, uh, staff will be limited and four o'clock would probably be a better start time. Before they go. If you guys do keep some of the meeting time, a uh, motion will be. Okay. Again, okay, nothing needs to be decided. We can decide that next meeting. Okay, so the next meeting, okay, so next meeting we'll decide if, yeah. if we have any money in time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We'll look at your schedule. Well. So maybe the yeah. yeah. next meeting is like October nineteenth. Oh, uh, yeah. Real, real quick, uh, did you mark what's it now when you're going? Um, it's it's gone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um honestly uh terry between terry and jeff spencer terry peters and jeff spencer i think we're going to be good with uh, volunteers and then i i've been getting bits and pieces of people out there from the businesses so um terry's got 20 people <laughs> lined up Jed's got at least 20 from the church. So we should we should be fine. We should be fine. Oh good. Okay. So but any of you who would like to join us on the 5th of November, nine o'clock, you're more than welcome to join us. We have fun. <laughs> That's a Saturday. The first Saturday we have we work uh Two weeks prior to, and we oh our grand open our opening ceremonies will be uh, the night. I don't know if I earned this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <everybody> <laughs> got relegated to a subcommittee, so yes, you can. <laughs> What's that? Another. Drivers, we still have any further information you wanted to. Uh,
Oops, sure. Thank you. Sorry, what was that, David? Sure. If you have any further information you want to share with the group on the microphone. I know just uh, helping out. Uh city obviously is gonna support and help out Winter Glow and uh reach out to Mark for any other uh volunteers that want to help out. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. Okay. Anything else before next meeting, October 19th, 2022, at 6 o'clock p.m. right now. And that might be revised, depending on everybody's schedule. And is there anything else that we're going to be ordered? Okay. Um, with that, uh, I think somebody make a we're ready to adjourn. Can we make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed. Meetings adjourned. Aye.